Lesson 9, Working with the Chart of Accounts. Over my 20 plus years of helping businesses with their accounting software selection and setup, I have rarely had a business owner that was also a graduated accountant. In fact, most often the business owners I work with started early on in their career working in the trade that they now own a business in. So I think you'll find Lesson 9 very useful as I show you how easy it is to work with one of the most important lists in QuickBooks, the Chart of Accounts. By the end of this lesson you'll be confident in adding an account, modifying an account, and merging two related accounts together, as well as printing your new Chart of Accounts. We'll even get ready to send a copy to your accountant for their review. Let's begin Lesson 9, Working with the Chart of Accounts. To open the Chart of Accounts from the menu bar, select List, Chart of Accounts. Optionally, you can use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus A. You can also open the Chart of Accounts from the Company section of the home page. With the Chart of Accounts dialog open, you'll see in the first column the name of the Chart of Account. You'll see a column that would indicate if the Chart of Account was set up for online banking access. A column called Type. This is what QuickBooks uses to determine the placement of the account on either the Balance Sheet Report or the Profit and Loss Report. There may be an account or two listed here that will not display on either of those reports. And the last column would indicate a balance total only for the balance sheet type accounts. To begin working with the chart of accounts, let's go down to the lower left to an account button. Once selected, we have the option to create a new account, edit an account, and a few other options. You may access these by clicking on the account button or selecting the related keyboard shortcut. Let's create a new chart of account. This dialog, Add New Account, Choose Account Type, has been greatly improved over the last few years. When you select an account type, QuickBooks will provide a dialog off to the right with some examples so that you can make sure you're selecting the correct type. If you do not see the category you wish to assign in either of these two groupings, simply click on the Other Account Types drop-down and pick the appropriate account type. If you have any questions on the proper account type, you should consult with your tax accountant. I'm going to select Continue. We're going to create an advertising expense account. And we're going to just call it Advertising. We could put the same description here if we wished. For this example, I'm going to leave that blank. If you were mapping your software to one of Intuit's tax preparation softwares, you might want to pick the specific tax form line. We're going to leave that unassigned at the moment. And I'm going to select Save and Close so that you can see that new account. So now we have a new account, Advertising. But let's use the example that I'd actually like to track two types of advertising. So I'm going to select New again, pick my expense type, select Continue, and I want to track two types of expenses for advertising. My internet advertising. I'm going to select in this example the subaccount check mark, place that check mark in that box, and choose advertising. And I want to track one more. I'm going to save in new. And I've got mailing pieces. I'm going to make that a subaccount, but instead of doing the drop down, I'm just going to begin typing advertising and then select the tab key. So you've got two ways of selecting the account. I'm going to save and close. And you'll see that we now have an advertising expense account with two related subaccounts. This way we can track our expenses for advertising in these two subaccounts. You might also notice on this chart of accounts I have an office supplies and an office supplies miss. I have what appears to be duplication, and I have several ways of handling this duplication. I can delete one or the other if it's not been used. So if I have no transactions posted to Office Supplies Miss, 
simply highlight the account, select the account button, and select the delete or use the control plus D keyboard shortcut. Now that's easy to get rid of an account, but rest assured if you have transactions that have posted to that account, you will not be able to delete it. So another method if you don't want that list item appearing for someone to post expenses to, simply use the keyboard shortcut to edit. So I'm going to control plus E, that's my keyboard shortcut, and down in the lower left I have an option to make that account inactive. So I'm going to say account is inactive and save and close. 